Alright, what's up everybody? I am here at Chicagoland driving a truck um, in test session mode. I'm going to try to lay down a decent lap, then talk about the line I used to get around here, show the setup and everything. I have ran a 31123 with this setup. Uh, I looked at the leaderboard, and the leaderboard is like, uh, I think 10th place is like a 30.7, so I am about four tenths off, which is a little little bad for me to be honest but Chicago land is just not my place I have got setups here that I think feel real comfortable um, they seem to last everything looks and feels good about them except the stopwatch is just not kind to me I'm not sure if it is something I am missing setup wise or if it is more uh, in the line I am running or something but um, I had a subscriber ask for a Chicago land setup for trucks, and I said I would get it out there, and this is the best I got. So there is my all time best. So there is a 31 flat. So maybe I'm starting to figure out how to get around this place a little bit. We'll run one more just to see if my luck holds, but I think a 31 flat is going to be. Probably about as good as you're going to see me get on video here. Yeah, that was 31.1. Okay, so let's talk about the line and we'll go show the setup. I like to start off with a high entry and dive it down. And there is a patch, a big patch, like I am entering it here. Or it looks like they ripped up the uh, pavement and redid it or something. It's kind of, I guess it's rectangle shaped. About the time I'm hitting it is where I lift going into turn one. And it is a quick lift. you got to make a conscious effort to get right back on that throttle really fast uh, in, in turn one. But it's a high entry. That's my lift point. And I drop down to the bottom and try to run the bottom uh, through two. And then as I exit two, I'm really big on trying to get momentum and keep momentum. So I'm not real concerned about hugging the white line as you exit. If the truck wants to drift up a little bit, you got a big long straightaway. I'm more concerned with maintaining speed down the straightaway than I am with um, hugging that white line all the way through the exit. Going into three, about where I'm passing this stop or traffic light that I just went by. Let's see if I can back up and you can see it. That's about your starting point of turn three, and you can see it better here, right here. And again, I am starting off wide. I turn the wheel pretty hard to get myself into the corner. I really don't lift. Um, about the middle of the turn, if I feel like I'm not making it, I'll lift just a hair, but I'm still probably 80-90% on the throttle. And I got to try to turn it hard at the start of the turn because I don't want to be turning the wheel really hard on exit that's really going to scrub off a lot of speed. Okay. Then as you're exiting, um, as you're exiting the turn, as you're coming along here, there's like a dark looking spot here. And it is right here where these cables like make a V. That's the spot I am aiming for on exit. So when I am exiting, this is, I guess, the apex of my arc right here where you got this dark spot. And from here, I am then running it, I guess, kind of like Kansas, where you dive from top to bottom. So from this point on, I am now trying to get this truck down here to the bottom. And then I'm going to run the apron all the way down through the start finish line. So um, that is my lap at Chicago land. Let's go take a look at the setup. It's still like get below 31s, but uh, considering that was over a tenth faster than my fastest lap, I am pretty happy with it. Let's look at the setup. Um, I think this is probably fairly typical. There's a few nuances here as things I'm doing things a little bit different and as just because kind of I evolve through uh, working through setups and trying to get better and better at them. Um, the front weight and wedge are a little lower than what I've been running on a lot of setups, but it, but that's partially because this is a truck series and the trucks run tighter so I have to go a little lower uh, on the front weight and wedge to get them to turn because the trucks tend to run really tight. 
Uh, the rear spring, specifically the left rear spring, I went way up on that. Um, that was because uh, I was trying to correct the, the truck wanted to get loose on exit, especially late in a run. So I went up on the left rear spring to try to correct that. I'm starting to run more and more setups where I have those rear springs closer to the same number. It used to be I always ran the left spring at about 500 and or maybe even in the 450 and the right spring at 600. I'm starting to run setups where I keep those closer together. Tire pressures are about defaults. Um, I went way down on the sway bar from the default. The default was two clicks up which I think is a 1.2 seven seven five yeah so I, uh, that is just an awfully stiff sway bar i went down a couple of clicks from that which usually i only go down about one click on the sway bar from the default um but that's just really really stiff sway bar especially for the truck series where they are so tight to begin with uh the track bars are up pretty high and again that's we're running trucks trucks tend to run tight i had to bring the right track bar down to make it even with the left usually i have that right track bar set up a little higher but the truck wants to get loose coming off the turn and i use that right track bar ratcheting it down to try to try to keep the truck from getting loose um, the wheel lock. I am starting to run most of my ovals with a wheel lock somewhere between 6 and 8. If you're running a controller, I'd recommend running it more probably a 10 or 12. It seems like guys who run controllers instead of wheels need to run a little higher wheel lock. And last but not least, this is a three gear setup with third gear being a 0.85. Uh, let me look it up real quick and I'll tell you what that gear ratio actually comes out to be. Where is it? Where is it? Gear ratios. That comes out to a 3.188 gear ratio. So um, if you use the standard four gear settings, you'll be stuck somewhere between you got to go from a 3.25 to a 3.10 this is not exactly in the middle that's a little closer to the 3.25 but this is where i found the most speed at so um that is the gearing i went with it is a three gear setup that is all i got for chicago land um feel like i'm starting to figure this place out a little bit uh glad i got down to 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 a more respectable time of a 31 flat Thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, appreciate all the great feedback. I think we're up to like 1,400 subscribers now, which is way better than I ever thought I would do. So thank you guys for that. Uh, keep putting, uh, keep giving me good support. Keep subscribing. Keep liking the videos. Keep giving me the, the uh, good feedback. And I'll keep trying to put out good content for you. And I'll end it as I always do by telling you guys you have a great day.